Josh, you've prepared for um, Ireland's England games um, in Twickenham before. What is, what's it? What's it like going to such a, a, a cauldron like that? Yeah, it's a tough place to play for sure. Um, it's obviously pretty. It's I absolutely love going there. It's pretty cool to play in front of eighty thousand people. You don't get to do it very often. Um, yeah, it's a, it's it's a tough place to go. Um, they, I think, in terms of playing there, the actual game. Uh, once they once they get going and and the crowds behind them, it gets very noisy. They they get a lot of confidence and, and they're pretty dangerous then. So, uh, yeah, I know what it's like. Um, it's a very tough place to go, but but really excited to to get to go out there again this weekend. So it's it's exciting. Collectively, have you made specific provisions this week for England's physicality? Um, yeah, I mean, we we've spoken a lot about it. During the week, um, obviously it's hard. You don't want to uh, knock lumps out of each other in training uh, because you have you have a game to prepare for at the end of the week. But definitely a lot of talk about it. Um, and then we spoke a good bit about individuals making sure that they're physically ready, that they're prepared, prepared for what will be a, a really physical game. Um, I think that's that's the most you can do. Whatever for me anyway. I like to get a few tackles in during the week, get my preparation right. And once once each individual looks after the preparation, we get the whatever the game plan is together and that's you kind of bring it all together then. So that's the plan. That's the plan for this weekend is definitely to try win that physical battle anyway. With the, the late change with, with Devin Turner coming in for Ian Henderson, does that disrupt things? Or are you, I, I gather he hadn't trained more soon this week, but are you kind of... Does it change things a lot for you when, when you get a replacement like Dev coming uh, in? Not really, to be honest. He's, uh, I mean, he's obviously been been training with us the whole time. I've played a huge amount with him. Ronan's obviously played a huge amount with him, and uh, yeah, he's he, he knows the line out inside out. He's uh, probably he's definitely one of the best caller line out callers, and uh, yeah, he's he's a top class player. So I don't think we I don't think we lose much by having Dev in. He's he's a he's a world class player. So it's it's pretty exciting for him, and good to, good to have him back in as well. Ronan, four or five months ago, would you have believed you'd be going to Twickenham with a triple crown on the line or playing for Ireland? Uh, would have been tough to see, in fairness, um, but just I've been taking it all in all the experiences over the last couple of weeks and uh, just looking forward now to getting over there in a big stadium, one of the main away grounds in the world, really. Like, um, So I'm just looking forward to it, really. Have you been talking to, to the lads of some of the lads we have the world, Richard, just about what exactly to expect? Um, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, they were talking about just the big games we've had there previously, such as two years ago, and they're just saying, that, "Look, just go out there, enjoy it, and get the chance." Like that's kind of the main thing. What are the biggest things you've learned in the last what, four or five weeks in this environment? Um, probably like just my little chats with Rob and Dave and stuff like that, and just getting different perspective from what they're doing at their provinces. And um, that's been real beneficial in my game, particularly throwing, etc. Just kind of seeing their routine during the week, and then on top of that, just talking to like Pete and stuff, and just seeing how their mind works, and just kind of getting through what they do during the week as well. That's been picking up little things here and there from them, really.